Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. We're Pixelfish. I mean, I'm not, I'm Freddy, but like as a collective we are, you know what I mean? But anyway, in this video I'm going to be filming a bookshelf tour because I've got a 12 hour plane journey tomorrow and um, to stop me thinking about falling out the sky for 12 hours, I was like, why not edit a video? So, <laughs> so in my first very much Harry Potter shelf, we have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, and this is one of the first prints. I know this because it's got the random wizard on the back, not Dumbledore. The signature edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. The signature edition of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. The signature edition of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. The signature edition of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The signature edition of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. The signature edition of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And finally, the signature edition of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And finally, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. We then have the Hogwarts School Library trio with Quidditch Through the Ages, Tales of Beedle the Bard, and finally, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Then we have the God-Awful Cursed Child. Where it belongs, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince, and finally Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Then we have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the original screenplay. Then we have Harry Potter El Calais du Fuego. I think I have this one because I'm doing Spanish UCC and it's recommended that you read a book. Then we have Percy Jackson the Lightning Thief, Percy Jackson the Sea of Monsters, Percy Jackson the Titan's Curse, Percy Jackson the Battle of the Labyrinth, and finally Percy Jackson the Last Olympian. We have The Lost Hero, The Son of Neptune, Mark of Athena, The House of Hades, The Blood of Olympus, Magnus Chase the Gods of Asgard, The Sword of Summer, Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, The Hammer of Thor, Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, The Ship of the Dead. We have The Trials of Apollo, The Hidden Oracle, The Trials of Apollo, The Dark Prophecy, and finally, The Demigod Diaries. I've ordered The Burning Maze, it just hasn't come for like six months. I don't know, okay, I don't know. Scythe and Thunderhead. We have the Maze Runner trilogy and then the prequel and the sequel. And then we have City of Bones 10th Anniversary Edition. Oh boy. Then we have The City of Bones, The City of Ashes, the City of Glass, The City of Fallen Angels, The City of Lost Souls, and finally The City of Heavenly Fire. Then we have a Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and finally we have a Clockwork Princess. Then we have his Dark Materials trilogy, then we have a Throne of Glass, a Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, a Queen of Shadows, and finally an Empire of Storms. We have the first four volumes in the Pokemon Adventures manga, I hear Academia 1 to 10. Then we have A Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, Storm of Swords, Blood and Gold, A Feast for Crows, A Dance with Dragons, Dreams and Dust, and finally A Dance with Dragons After the Feast. And I really hope he releases Winds of Winter and A Dream of Spring soon because I, I just really want them. I love this series so much. Please release it, George. Next we have the Narnia series. Next we have A Hunger... Oh. Next we have The Hunger Games, Hunger Games Catching Fire, and finally... The Hunger Games Mockingjay. We have Divergent, Insurgent, Legent, and finally, four. We have uh, the first eight volumes of Death Note, two in each one. And then because I'm super, like, retro, vintage, yeah, I take classics, GCSE, I have the Iliad, the Odyssey, and the Aeneid. We have a cloth-bound version of the Odyssey. Because I want to write a children's story as well as a young adult book, uh, I have Podkin One Ear, um, the first and second one. We have the first three volumes of One Punch Man, which I hate. Then we have the entire Scream Street collection. Now, I don't think that this is like big in America, but in the UK, when I was in year five, like if you weren't reading one of these, you just couldn't call yourself cool. Like you just couldn't, that was a fact. If you didn't have your pencil case on top of one of these books in the top right hand corner of your desk, then mm, no, you're gonna get bullied, mate. Like you may as well have been like that's how much everyone hated you right now. Then we have the first six um, volumes of Naruto. We have The Knife of Never Letting Go, which is one of my sister's favourite books. I didn't like it. It was quite boring. Sorry, not sorry. Then we have Ready Player One, which I <laughs> hate. <laughs> John Green's Paper Towns. 
and John Green's A Fault in Our Stars. Dan Phil Go Outside. I also have The Amazing Books Not on Fire, but it's in my suitcase because... <laughs> I'm leaving. Then we have Jim Chapman's 147 Things, my user's guide to the universe from black holes to belly buttons, sleep talking first times, last resorts, the evolution of fashion, the odds against existence, the science of heartbreak, the age of hangry, and the haunting perils of puberty. I finally did it. Yes. We have the fates divide and because I'm such a wet lettuce, I only bought this because it's a signed author edition. So yeah. We have The Jungle Book, Mythos by Stephen Fry, War Cross by Marie Lou, The Sherlock Holmes Long Stories, The Hobbit, 13 Reasons Why. <laughs> Come just stay. 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, The Raven Boy, Wonder, A Series of Unfortunate Events, The Bad Beginning. And last but not least, basically, those Harry Potter editions up there, they're my sister's old copies, and I kind of just stole them from her. But after I read the first one, she didn't like the condition I kept it in, so she made me, made my mum buy me uh, the rest for myself. So then my mum bought me those, these two at the same time, which is, this is literally sellotaped to stop it falling apart. Like, it's, it's, it's really getting there. Like, look, it's just sellotaped. It's ripped. I didn't, I don't know. I don't even know what happened to it, but yeah. Then, because I didn't like reading these, because I thought these cover looked, these covers looked kind of too childish with the stars and everything. Um, I didn't tell my mum that I finished them. And then I read my sister's copies of Goblet of Fire and Order of the Phoenix. And uh, I think she knew, but she kind of just let me. And then I, she didn't like the condition I let Order of the Phoenix in. So then my mum bought me the Half Blood Prince and the Deathly Hallows in these editions. Which, by the way, like these may look much worse than they are. Because these ones are fine. These ones are completely fine. They're just, they I always used to crack spines. And like, it comes out white when you crack them on these books. And it really annoys me. But yeah. Okay, this one, fair enough. Like, I've read this one so much. I read The Prisoner of Azkaban twice before I read Goblet of Fire because I enjoyed it so much. And it's like completely just, this is taped on, that bit's taped on. Oh my god, I forgot how like bad this book actually what condition was in. But anyway, yeah, that is my bookshelves from start to finish. And, oh look, here's the amazing book, It's Not On Fire, which I'm going to read on the plane, because I really love it. And there's Nagini. So yeah, and I've got some DVDs down there, but like, this is a book channel. I mean, it's not a book channel, but like, you know what I mean. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. You can subscribe by clicking here and watch... The, our most recent video by clicking here and the video that's specially right for you by clicking here so anyway i hope you enjoyed and bye smack the lip whoop drop down snap the science of heartache no it's heartbreak and the hauntings per ah, no 13 reasons oh okay bye 13 reasons why more like 13 reasons bye oh oh it's gone again